Okay, scholars, one of the first things to do when setting up your digital portfolio for your own Google website is or change the header itself, changing the image on the bottom left here where it says change image. You can upload an image. I want you to design the image yourself so you can go into Canva to do that. So when you sign into Canva, you sign in using your school, your school account, your email from your Google account and your own school password, and that signs you into Canva. And you look in Shared With You, where I will share with you a template. I'll show you how I make the template from scratch right now. Um, the template, I designed it by making it my own dimensions, 960 by 250 for the measurements. And then I, um, I changed the color by clicking this box right here, change the background color. Next, I added text by clicking on this um, add text button. After that, oh, I uh, added a subheading, added a second text. Then I changed the font. So I did that by clicking on the text itself, click on the top left and I used the Bobby Jones font. And I made it a little bit bigger. I just expanded the size using this scale. Okay. Okay, so I had to continue changing the font. So I had to do, I made this also Bobby Jones font. And so it said digital portfolio. I got that apostrophe S. The next thing I did is I wanted to use something I saw in another template. So I saw this science template for a science Google Classroom. I hit Command C and I copied this on the side. I went back over to my header and I pasted it over here. And then I went back to that one and I also copied the little shape from the bottom there. So I thought these shapes would make it look a little bit better. I dragged the shape to the side here. And then I just changed the colors of those to match my project. It looks a little better like this. All right, so I'm almost done here. I just want to add some elements that represent things that I like. So I like to play chess, so I thought it'd be cool to have an element that showed or reflected that. I don't want it to be too busy, but one element on each side of my name, and then I'll be done. So I'm going to click the elements on the left bar. I'm going to select the chess icon, move it over here near my name, make it a little bigger, maybe like just right about there. Great. And then I'm going to add a, a book and a globe because I like to travel and read. So there, now this is completed. I'm going to click on download in the top right corner here. I'm going to make sure it's a PNG. And then I only want to download the first page, but I think right now it is only one page. So I can just click the download button. And now it's preparing my design. It has downloaded. I'm going back to my um, Google site now. And I'm clicking on the header, change image and upload. And it's going to appear in my downloads right at the top there. David Mercall's digital portfolio. Uh, and there it is. And that's week one completed. You can create this yourself. You'll be all ready to begin the next step.